uh, we will meet her with reverence and respect. But of course, it's a sense of equality. Because although East Pakistan has been severed away from Pakistan, we still believe in, in the concept of so sovereign equality of states. And we are not a mosquito on the map of the subcontinent. Still, we are 60 million people and with a, with a good history and with a good account of ourselves. And I have lifted the morale of the people again, uh, not by fanning hatred. I haven't done that, but by uh, going in the direction of reform and revolution. So I, I'm looking forward to our encounter, to our meeting, and I hope it will be a productive dialogue. Obviously, your first priority must be to get your prisoners of war home again. You've said that, you've made that very plain. But how are you going to persuade Mrs. Gandhi that once they're home again, they're not going to push you towards confrontation once more, perhaps even to a war of revenge? No, I don't think that anyone can push me around in a hurry. And especially uh, our prisoners of wars. They're not an articulate political force as such. They might fan out. They don't need to fan out. There are enough people who are... Uh, jingoistic as it is, but uh, we can settle these sentiments if we make progress. And uh, I don't want Pakistan to get the title of a revanche state. You were talking about uh, a non-activist, low-profile foreign policy, but what sort of place do you see Pakistan playing then on the subcontinent? What kind of country is it going to be in relation to others here? Well, you see, our, muscle will, uh, our, our uh, foreign muscle will be judged by our internal muscle. And for the time being, I am concentrating on uh, really creating the internal muscle. We have great potential. I think my country can become a kind of uh, a West Germany of Europe and Asia. And once I unleash all the forces, we bring my, our manpower into, into play in development projects, in electrification, rural health centers. I have great faith in the people of Pakistan. And I'm banking everything on their strength, on their resurgence, on their resuscitation. And you will see, if I get these four years or five years, which is my constitutional right, I am determined to change the face of Pakistan. Make it really into a part of Asia that the moment you enter Pakistan, you'll say, my God, we have entered in a country which is really pulsating vibrant and active and vigorous. Will you have to change the nature of the people? That is inevitable. I think they're ready for it. But they haven't been given the right direction. Are they ready for peace? They're ready for peace, but they're ready to vindicate their honor, and that can be vindicated without going to arms, without going to war. Germany has vindicated her honor without going to war. And so can you. I am confident of that.